Today on Blessed Burgers, I am making what was once voted the number one burger in Dallas, and it was within the top 15 top burgers in the United States. I'm making Henry's Marrow Spiked Burger right now. Henry's Marrow Spiked Burger was created at a speakeasy themed tavern located in Dallas, Texas called Henry's Majestic. Unfortunately, this tavern closed their doors in 2023, October of 2023, because the owners of the building sold the building. Henry's posted on their website that they will be back. We're coming up on a year now and no word from them. So I don't know whether to consider this an extinct burger or an endangered burger. I hope they come back. It seems like a place that I would really love to go and uh, it was very popular. So. They still have a Facebook page. Maybe we should start kind of poking them a little bit, see what's going on. We're gonna kick this burger off with some caramelized onions. And just so I don't forget to say, uh, this burger is amazing. And you're gonna see why step by step. One of the options on this burger is an over easy egg. And I'm deciding to do the version without the egg on there. I just, I'm not in the mood for an egg on my burger this morning. So I have my saucepan here rolling at a a medium heat. Put some oil down. This is avocado oil. Some finely sliced onion. I'm just going to get this in here and keep it moving. We are going for a deeply caramelized onion and it's not difficult but you have to be patient. So basically all I'm doing is again keeping it at a medium heat, keeping it moving, once it starts looking a little dry, I'm going to add just a little water and that'll obviously rehydrate these onions. And it'll also, as we're progressing, it'll deglaze the pan and keep the goodness, the sugars that are coming out of this onions, coating the onions. And after 45 minutes to an hour of doing this, you're going to end up with this. This is awesome stuff right here. All right, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna move on to the next component of this awesome burger, which is ground Akashi beef with bone marrow added to the mix. This sounds insane. I went ahead and bought a Akashi chuck steak. I bought this from a company online called Marble Mountain and they specialize in Akashi, which is a Wagyu by the way. Um, this wasn't that expensive. It, I, it was 16 ounces and I want to say it was $18. And they actually sent me 36 ounces. So I'm not complaining about, about that, but again, look at the marbling in that, that's gorgeous. And Henry's Majestic, what they were using were the trimmings. They were serving up Akashi beef. So when they would trim up their steaks, they were saving the trimmings and using that in the grind. Now they did something else that I thought was very cool. And that is obviously the name of it is marrow spiked. So I have here bone marrow. I removed this from the bone last night and uh, froze it. I just thought it would be easier to you know grind with the beef in a frozen state. So we're going to kick this off. Throw some meat in there to kind of prime the pump here. And I'm just going to alternate the bone marrow with the meat. There we have it. This is gonna be awesome. What we are gonna do now is form the patty. I wanna to toss it in the fridge after it's formed just to kind of set it up a little bit before it hits the grill. So I'm going to be using a four and a half inch ring today to form this burger. And that's a little larger in diameter than the buns, which is what I want. I wanna compensate for the shrinkage. Um, I'm not sure what size the buns that Henry's was using. So I'm matching the style of bun that they have. And I just wanna make sure that the thickness and everything is accurate on my patty here. So again, I'm not really sure how much their burger patty weighed, but it, I'm more concerned about the thickness than anything else. This is gonna be a killer, killer burger patty here. That looks about right. This is just something I like to do to flatten this side that my fingers have been indenting. Nice. 
there we are. Look at that. That's gorgeous. This is going to go in the fridge just a little while to kind of help tighten the meat up before it hits this hot grill. Yeah, that's about it for now. So I'll meet you at the grill. I'm going to kick this off with two strips of bacon. Now for that patty. And for those of you who are wondering, it was just over seven ounces of meat here. Season this with some salt. Using a kettle today with grill grates. A little bit more salt. Check out these buns. This is seeded brioche. I saw some pictures where the buns were seeded, some where they were not. I just happened to find these seeded buns. So I went with these. I think they look cool. And they get some grill marks on these buns here. So that's what I'm going to do that. So I'm going to set these over here. They'll continue to toast, but it's not that crazy heat. See what I mean? Nice toast. Nice. We're going to go ahead and top this with that caramelized onion. Throw down some aged cheddar cheese. Go ahead and dome this. Let's build this burger. Where I burger down on that bottom bun. There's two strips of bacon and they just cross theirs on top. And on this top bun, going with mayo. And we'll crown it. And I give you Henry's Marrow Spiked Burger. You can see it's a relatively simple burger. I mean, Really, the, the big hook on this is that marrow spiked patty. This is pretty. These buns are just amazing. We recently had, Aldi's isn't a thing. I think, it, is it called Aldi's? I don't know, A-L-D-I-S or whatever. We don't, <laughs> historically, we haven't had those out here and we just got one and uh, I found these buns there, so. Cheers. Mmm. That meat is freaking amazing. Wow. The patty is epping unbelievable. Um, it's very rich, very, very tender, very, very juicy. I mean, you can really taste that beef. It's, it's good. Um, this burger is awesome. Um, I mean, honestly, this is, as far as the copycats I've done, it's, it's up there as far as just the flavor, the, the overall composition of this burger. So simple, and yet, you know, it delivers, which is usually the case, I think. I mean, some the simple burgers are usually best. Uh, but the thing that's nice about this, like some of those top tier burgers, is it's simple, but then it has components that just really stand out. And for me, the, the, the star of this burger are those, um, that caramelized onion. Again, it's easy to, to make the caramelized onions, but it does just, it takes a lot of time. Like I said, this was about an hour and I did this last night and then I used a stunt onion to, to kick the video off. But, excuse me, <laughs> the, the flavor and the sweetness um, just goes so well with the, you know, the richness and the savoriness of that, of the burger. I mean, this is really, really good. I mean, really good. I mean, really the only criticism I would find is, and this is silly, 
is I like to, you know, fold or cut the bacon strips in half so you don't have those big pieces hanging out the edges. And I realize it makes a, a nice presentation, I guess. Um, and maybe the thought is you get that little treat before you delve into the burger. But I would rather just get it all at one in one bun package, if that makes any sense. But wow, this is really good. This was a, a request and I couldn't find the email of the requester. So I apologize for that, but thank you for the request. Um, I just kind of, I, I keep notes and I had do this burger. I, I hope this uh, restaurant Henry's Majestic comes back because I think, you know, if it was in my neighborhood, I'd be really bummed to see it gone. But anyway, enough said. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do. And if you really want to help out the channel and keep me motivated, share and comment on the video. That's, that's what does the best as far as helping any of us out. But anyway, I'll see you on the next video. This thing is falling apart. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.